All right, y'all, back at your Patreon, Sonia here, and we just got here to the Beckley Coal Mine Exhibition. So this was an actual coal mine operation, and it was built in 1891. So yeah, guys, so we're gonna go check out and learn more about the history about the coal mining industry here in West Virginia. All right, come follow me. All right, guys, first stop of the day is to check out how the coal mine looks like from back in the day. All right, can't wait to share it with you all. Alright guys, so um, this is not an actual coal mine, but just a recreation of how a coal mine should look like, so yeah. But anyway, before you start the tour, there's a museum upstairs that you can just visit and learn more about the history of coal mining here in West Virginia, so it's very interesting. Alrighty. When they was operating it, it was called the Phillips Mines. The Phillips family owned it. And when this mine's operated, it was only about as high as the top of these cars. This was a low coal mine. This seam of coal was the soil sink. Now after the city of Beckley bought this, they come in and took that rock from about the top of these cars up to what you see today. Now when the Phillips family owned this mines, every bit of the coal that was mined in this mine was done with a pick and shovel. They dug it out by hand. Now this mine goes for over eight miles. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of hard work. Now those guys would work, each, each of those miners would work 12 hour shifts. And in a 12 hour shift, each one of those men would load about 10 of these one ton cars. You know how much he got paid for that? He got paid 20 cents. <laughs> For one car. So if he loaded 10 of these in a day, he got paid $2. Now, that was as long as it didn't have any rock in it. Now, the car on the other side there has got some rock in it. If he sent rock outside, they would dock him a few pennies because they couldn't sell the rock and they didn't have anywhere to put it. Now, the way this worked, the miners had these little tags, and each, each miner was assigned a certain number. 
So if you loaded this car, Cole, you took this tag and you hung it on the side of the car. And when the donkeys and the mules or the ponies would pull these outside, somebody out there collected those tags. And that's how they know who, which miner loaded this car coal. But as this mine started getting bigger and bigger and spread out, a lot of times there'd be cars of coal sitting on the side hadn't got took out yet. And some of those miners just slip over and change that tag. They'd steal your coal. Methane, maybe check for a little oxygen. Now to check for methane, it always rises because it's hit this lighter from there. So you had to hold this light up and watch that flame. Now if that flame did this, this would be an indication you had methane. You see a flame climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. That means you have methane in here. Now, in today's coal mines, if you have 2% methane, you have to withdraw everybody from the mines and take them outside. Now, every foreman had to carry one of these lights up until the year 2000. They did away with this in the year 2000, and now they use a multi gas detector, digital multi gas detectors. These are obsolete now. Now, to check from it for uh, black damp or low oxygen, you had to hold this down on the bottom because it settles on the bottom. So if you have this light down here and we didn't have enough oxygen, that flame would go out. The next guy would follow the drill man, and I think we called him the shot fire. He would put three sticks of dynamite in each hole. So now when you put a shot off on the ground, you shoot 15 sticks of dynamite. If you heard somebody call it fire, fire, fire in a hole, you better stay where you at. And once they shot that coal loose, they used that machine of her to gather it up. Now every section had one or two of these what we call rumble machines. Now if you look above your head and you see all these little square plates, everywhere you see one of them, that's a roof bolt. Now the way this machine works, you've got a piece of drill steel with a sharp bit. You can put this in a drill head and you can move this machine around as a tram. Their toilet back in the day. All right, guys, so this is the typical church and house for the coal miners. And yeah, actually, Beckley Exhibition, this is this was an actual coal mine. Now they turn it to a museum, so that's pretty cool. You get to explore how the coal mine works back in the day. And then somebody just photobombed the video. <sighs> yeah, that's Remy. <laughs> All right, guys, that was a very cool learning experience. Just, you know, just to learn about the history of coal mining of uh, West Virginia, that's really cool. Just to be able to like see how it looks like inside and how everything works. It's definitely a very hard labor. Ticket is usually $22, but because today is West Virginia Day on June 19, we only pay 15 and then you get to see the 
houses and church. So, all right, guys, don't forget to check out this place if you're ever in the West Virginia area. And it's about like four or five hours drive from Washington, D.C. All right, y'all, signing off. See you in the next one. Bye.